I'm gonna let's finish up talking about a show that you love. Um, I love it too, but I don't know if I love it as much as you do. CompuTax. Pat, we were up in the middle of the night listening to Mr. Jensen Huang take Q and A from us. Uh, very, very nice of him to allow us to have 10 o'clock conference calls. Um, but uh, big announcements, AMD, big announcements, NVIDIA, big announcements. Intel had a keynote, um, talked about some of their announcements as well. Um, I'll give you the run of show here and, I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll close it up and take it home. Yeah, there's a ton to talk about. And it's funny when I put this on, uh, when I put this on the agenda, I was trying to look for what are some themes <laughs> that can tie all of them together. And it was actually really hard uh, on, on, on the three companies. But so, so let me just go down and, and just give you my, my quick takes on probably 23 announcements between AMD, <laughs> Intel, and, and NVIDIA. So first off, I would say AMD had a very strong uh, showing. Uh, they came out and they, Lisa Sue blew people away uh, when when she said, yeah, oh, and by the way, uh, we're in the Tesla Model S and the Tesla Model X for infotainment. Everybody's heads exploded uh, out there because nobody, I mean, there were some rumors, right? Uh, and uh, Tesla on an earnings call made a, made a comment that they were even talking to AMD, which by the way, they ended up giving business to NVIDIA. Uh, uh, when, when they said this, but you knew something was up up there, and sure enough, uh, th that they're in there. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, Samsung uh, uh, is leveraging AMD's mobile IP, and the key part here was uh, they were going to add ray tracing. So imagine a smartphone in the future with ray tracing uh, for gaming. Again, another head's exploding. I would say the biggest news out there, though, was a program called AMD Advantage, which is, is a design framework to help gamers to simplify the purchase uh, process for notebook gamers. AMD has set up a, a bunch of specifications for performance, for durability, for battery life, all the things that the gamers uh, would want out there. Performance is important, but if you're fan is whirring all the time and your lap is on fire, uh, that's not that's not cool either. So um, uh, uh, Intel has Evo and Evo is really targeted on the go professionals where AMD Advantage is focused on uh, notebook uh, gamers. AMD then came out with uh, their 3D vCache, which is essentially uh, uh, the first instantiation of uh, AMD doing something that looks a little bit like Intel's Foveros. And essentially, instead of putting um, uh, a processor on a processor, they're putting uh, cache memory uh, to increase performance. Um, and then you have Intel, right? Intel came out with uh, a five gigahertz thin and light that was typically only in thick and chunky and high performance notebooks. Uh, uh, Intel also came out with a 5G uh, M.2 uh, a card. Interesting in that Intel is working with MediaTek, uh, which we knew, but the M.2 card is official, and they talked about OEMs that uh, were, were picking uh, that up. Uh, and finally, NVIDIA brought out King Kong, biggest graphics card in the industry. Uh, uh, NVIDIA calls it the 3080 Ti. I call it the 3080 Ti, but an 1199 card $1,199 gaming card uh, with just not so uh, uh, performance. Final announcement, uh, NVIDIA certification for the DPU, which is the data processing unit, which is an offload networking unit, and NVIDIA certifications for ARM-based CPUs with NVIDIA data center GPUs. Uh, I And by the way, I tried to find a theme across all those, Daniel. Uh, maybe you can do it. Sure, there was some gaming, you know, similarities and stuff between AMD and uh, and NVIDIA, uh, but that's about all the similarity and all the themes that I could find. Yeah, I thought the AMD um, chiplets, 3D stuff was very interesting. I mean, the 
Model X and Model S stole the show. That was the biggest announcement, got everybody super excited. Everybody kind of thought that Tesla was going to do Tesla, it was going to build its own, control its own, do its own, you know, for, for, everything. Of, yeah. for everything. And so I don't know what that says about Tesla, but, you know, Elon Musk is a fiscal booger. I mean, he did uh, have a he did have a public, very public breakup today with Bitcoin, I think. We don't know because he Interesting. only... He uses emojis now. Um, he is the meme stock of Twitter personalities. Um, but, uh, you know, huge, huge move for AMD, obviously, because to some extent, they weren't really even in the conversation about vehicles lately. They've been kind of out of that conversation. So there goes Lisa Su, which, by the way, we'll be speaking at our 6.5 Summit, along with actually Jensen Huang. Uh, Simon Seegers and Pat Gelsinger. You're gonna hear from all of the CEOs of all of these companies. Um, so you better be attending, hit that registration button. Um, we'll put it in the show notes. You know, and a couple other things that uh, just really quickly caught my attention. You know, I think the reiteration uh, from NVIDIA on uh, the, the DPU, I mean, I think that's still really being absorbed. So they spent a lot of time talking about Bluefield. Listen, yeah. getting these, you know, you talk about network offload, like this isn't like a small deal. You're going to make every CPU, every general purpose CPU, every, you know, processor in the data center, the edge more powerful by offloading it from having to do things it's not effectively been designed to do. And then the things that we need our CPUs doing, it'll do better. And so, you know, yeah. they're not the only ones doing it, but they are arguably the best at marketing it. Um, you know, like Marvell is doing some really interesting stuff in this space, for instance. Um, Nitro from AWS is another one in that space. Um, last thing, base command was pretty interesting to me. I like the whole idea. Somehow NVIDIA is finding a way to create subscriptions and, rev and recurring revenue. They did it originally with GeForce, you know, with the gaming subscription service. But like at high end enterprise data science, they are now leasing out supercomputers, um, you know, for about 90,000 a month. You can get a NVIDIA net app baked AI data science analytics application development suite of tools. Uh, and you don't have to buy any hardware. So only 90 grand a month, Pat. Um, Isn't that crazy that NVIDIA got into IaaS and nobody, nobody wrote about it. I, I looked for it, but they are in the IaaS game and it just blew me away. Cloud native subscription based supercomputer um, period. It's, and it's also a full stack. It's, it's, Hardware, it's software, it's frameworks, and you can you can you can rent it. And so you know they did the Ampere, the A100, um, you know the DGX that you could rent the unit uh, yeah. for your data center. But this is like the full suite. This is the whole stack. I mean, now they're going to start shipping a data scientist to your door.